Okay, I'm gonna continue with my IKEA kitchen. I'm gonna call this, uh, I think this is part seven. And today is the day that they're coming with the quartz. So we should have our countertops today, our sink. Uh, we should essentially have our kitchen today. So a little bit of an update since I last filmed. Um, I locked all my cabinets down in place. I installed all my hardware. So I got all my hardware in place. Looks quite nice with the black. Got the dishwasher slid in. I added uh, a little structural member here just to fasten the lid of the dishwasher. I put an extra piece back there just as an added uh, support for the quartz, although they said it wasn't required. Uh, I also put a piece of lumber here because this was quite flopsy. So now it's very sturdy. I can't move this at all. So this is all good. Uh, I had already talked about the fillers and everything. I think that was all done. The valances are in, the little valance pieces. Those literally took five minutes to put in. I'm happy with the hardware. And my doors are in place because my back ordered hinges did come in. So I, I did this work off camera. Hinges installed, hardware installed, and everything works as it should. This door can even open like this. Even with the wine rack, this was my concern with my, because this was my design, my idea, and I was thought it might interfere with the, with this, but this can open all the way, and the drawers pull out. Not a problem, not an issue. Uh, the little shelf that was on back order, that came in. So that's just that little, little 12 inch. So I got that in place. Everything's in place, the baseboards are in. Um, what else? What else is there? This is pretty much it. I had already talked about the fillers. Like I said, everything is done. I got an, oh, okay. I did get a new light fixture. That's an Ikea light fixture. Uh, the one I wanted was back order. And then I just happened to see this one, which looks very nice. $29, believe it or not. $29 for that light fixture. So I'm really happy with that. Um... That's it, light fixture. I painted, I touched up the ceiling for the last time, and I did the pale gray all around here. Now, this area here has all been primed, but this is going to be a tile backsplash. So the tile backsplash will go in after the countertops. I've got the, excuse this. I've got the dishwasher hooked up plumbed in and it's also hooked up electrically I don't know if I mentioned that or not my microwave range hood is over here so that's gonna go in after and I got all my tiles back there that'll be for a different video I'm going with the subway tile <clears throat> I've never installed subway tile before so that'll be a first I've also been touching up all my paint trim throughout the house Trying to fix all that up. <clears throat> so, and so here we have it. Now, I did not install the microwave range hood just in case there's an issue with this counter. And this, this is where the alignment's supposed to be, but they're coming in with the quartz today. And this is supposed to wrap around. And let's just say that their quartz was too short or too long, I would have to modify this. But this is easy, this is only held on with a couple screws from the back. But this whole section, if this had to move side to side, I could always remove this filler. But I would want to get into, I mean, the microwave range hood is heavy and I want to do this just once. So I'm gonna hold off uh, once this is all in and I can prove that the alignment is good, then I'll do the microwave range hood and uh, I mean, we're gonna have a kitchen. I even fixed up the, what was missing of the little baseboard. I fixed that up. I fixed this up and over here, over there. So everything's in, uh, I'm happy with it. Again, this kitchen is very small. <clears throat> this is a tiny kitchen. You know, there's no, there's no wow factor per se, but 
it's certainly better than what we had. So there we have it. So uh, in a couple hours, hopefully the quartz will show up. I, I'm going to try to get some footage. I don't know how the guys will feel about being filmed, but I'm going to try to get a bit of footage and uh, we'll see what this looks like. Okay, I see the jade stone truck. Looks like we're getting countertops. There they are. There's the truck. Ah, yeah. Very cool. All right, let's take a look. And there's my product right there, coming in as we speak. Excuse the wind. All right, I'll try not to freak these guys out. Here they come. So far, I like what I see. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Hopefully, they centered my, is my sink centered? That's number one. Sink is centered, that overhang looks good. There was a concern that this was not polished. Uh, that's why I went out to the truck in the first time, but I mean, that's on the inside, so be it. The uh, arc looks good here. Hopefully they can make the seam look half decent. Uh, the undermount, undermounted sink, that's the first time we see the sink. It's a black sink. It's a Kilsviken. So I'm going to let these guys do their thing and check in again in a bit. Okay, well, I spoke a little too soon. Uh, the Jade Stone guys, they had to leave and they had to take the main section of counter back. Uh, one edge, uh, the corresponding edge uh, on the long piece... Uh, was not properly squared off. When he told me there was an issue, I thought it was maybe something to do with my build. Maybe something was out of whack, but as it turns out, one of their edges, uh, their mistake, they forgot to uh, square off and polish one of their edges. So this one is nice and smooth and polished and square. The other one was not. So they had to take that big long piece back. They're going to put it through their CNC machine and they're going to try to come back tomorrow. Now, I'll be very shocked if they do come back tomorrow. But uh, I'm hoping for tomorrow. I called their manager and he said he was going to try. So hopefully they'll come back and we can finish this. Uh, he showed me what it was like and there was a crack at one end. 
and uh, they have a machine that they can they can squeeze it together when they put their epoxy in there whatever it is and uh it was a little bit too much of a gap it didn't seem that horrible to me but i mean it may as well be tighter the better i mean this stuff is not cheap so uh the tighter the better so it doesn't open over time so that piece has gone back to be squared off hopefully they'll come back tomorrow um they did get this little piece in fantastic same with this one fantastic so i like the look of this i like the look of that the corner piece is nice and let's see if they come back and finish this up Alrighty. okay well it took a little bit of time but uh, jade stone did come back and they installed my long piece so uh I'm quite happy with that. It looks good. The sink is, uh, I was away, of course, I was at work. I was away, so it's a little bit of time has elapsed here, over a week. But they came back, and honestly, I, I'm having a hard time finding the seam. I really am. So they did a good job. So that was obviously meant to be very tight, because, uh, like I said, I can... The seam is somewhere here. I'm not gonna lie. Did a good job. So, and here is my uh, sink, my black sink. I still got the tape on there from when the uh, the glue or the epoxy was. Comes uh, pre-drilled for the uh, for the, the tap. So somebody was asking um, a little bit off topic of the uh, the counters, but why I built the the dishwasher opening this way and it was referring to these pieces here this one and that one I suppose uh, you could go without you could totally go without and then uh, because this cabinet will hold itself on its on its legs and uh, same with that one this is a little bit of added support I suppose but uh, you could have gone without and then a long piece of baseboard could have went across and it would have been all white and the concern was could you come here and sort of hit your feet i mean i don't know if that's really a problem but uh, it certainly would have been cleaner but uh, i thought this way might add a little bit of support and at the same time if uh, because the sink had to be centered that opening would technically would have been a little bit smaller. So the only difference is the filler would have been a little bit bigger over here. So, but anyway, I'm going to call it for this one. Uh, countertops, the quartz countertops from Ikea. Uh, don't mind the mess. They're in, they look good. They're in, they look good. Um, I think the counters are worth every penny. I think this was around $2,600. Canadian so I think that's good I'm gonna call for this video and uh, the next time I think uh, I'll call it I think this was this was part seven I hope I'm not messing this up we'll wrap this one up uh, next video I will uh, I will do the tap I will do the microwave range hood I will level up the stove uh, someone was also asking because I made this counter a little bit higher than what they called for. I believe this is supposed to be four, four and a half. Uh, I've got this at about six inches. So I'm tall, so I like stuff to be, I don't like bending down for stuff. So yes, I'm about an uh, inch and a half or two inches taller than what I guess the standard would be. And uh, so I got to jack the legs on my stove too. I gotta make these level because I mean this does not look good. So next video, microwave range hood, level the stove, the tap set, and I also have a backsplash to install. So I've never done subway tile, so that's gonna be a first also. So okay, thanks for watching. IKEA quartz countertops. We'll catch you on the next video.